All rise for the Rank Kings Court. Court is in session. Welcome. It is a Tuesday, and you are you present. You are present once again, along with myself and Bo. Welcome, everybody, to the Rank Kings Court. Bo, how are you doing? Pretty good, Austin. We're back for another episode. We didn't get canceled last week, so that's no. always good. Well, the notion of getting canceled is always there, apparently. We have to move my we have to ride that as we're going on for it. But, you know, it is what it is. That's show business. So, well, we also have Derek back. Derek, how are we doing? Frozen. He's frozen right now. Frozen? Trying, trying to work that out. He's not I also fro- love the movie Frozen. He's not frozen say, in real you, life, you, but... You know, double click into it. Don't just hide it. You stole my line. Nope, double click a- into it. Yep. Go to cam link. Bounce to something else real quick. And then bounce so, back. boys and girls, while they are getting everything fixed with that... I uh, want to bring up a little notion. Hi, of Austin. Life. Oh, hi. <laughs> there he is. Hello. <laughs> We're all good now. <laughs> um, but yes, frozen is great. You are unfrozen. So, in fact, you are unfrozen. I'm frozen, too. <laughs> it's frozen, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, welcome to the Rank Kings Court. Before we dive too much in, though, we got to know where we're filming at from, right? Right. So, Love Bo, you, Austin, Derek, for that. Which one ever we're going to promote that? be my guest never gonna be me it's it's, it looks like it's me again (laughs) all right so tonight's episode of the rankings court is live today from the union fitness studios located on the north shore of pittsburgh union fitness is more than a traditional gym it is a place where you can transfer yourself inside and out with a variety of classes based around fitness yoga strength and performance training at union fitness they believe that is their duty to hold themselves and their clients to a higher standard they practice what they preach and uphold the values that make Union Fitness the community that it is. Go to unionfitness.com today to sign up for a consultation. Through Union, there is strength. Damn near got that memorized, just to let you know. That's super that's close. Well, one day I'll get there. Uh, it's only, what, I want to let you time? know. Yeah. I want to let you know, though. I love when I'm looking at the stream and I'm like, your head's bobbing along. So I know you're into it, man. I'm appreciate I'm, I'm it. trying to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a human bobblehead. Yeah, anyway, boys. So. One, one day we'll get you to be able to see us in real time, Austin. One day. Yeah, one time. I would love <laughs> First of all, though, I want to point out that I had this shirt the whole time, and I never wore it during our hardcore show. How'd That's you miss that one? I, it, I've had this one for years. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it would have been a good idea to wear it during the Metalcore episode. But What is the shirt? I can't uh, see uh, it fully. It's Devil's Pride shirt. Devil's ah. Pride. He just stood up, but he missed it. I did. I'm I'm clipping. I'm trying to give you guys content. Oh, like, perfect. Yeah, I'm clipping we stuff. We appreciate it. Clip, clip, appreciate snip, it. Snip, <laughs> snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. He's got his scissors over um, there. And before we get into our topic for today, we have a little bit of the discussion from last week. Those that don't know, we covered a little bit of the Dragon Ball franchise last week. And there was a lot of stuff that we missed, apparently, including one car chase between Goku and Piccolo <laughs> that I forgot almost existed yeah yep. yes i totally forgot about that one uh and i never realized like you know saiyans and everything fly so why would they need a driver's license and that's exactly what they were there <laughs> getting their driver's licenses and they turned it into a competition and needless to say they both went over and both of them failed hilarious little um what's the term uh when well, it's not a um on episode it's it's something with that anyway, off episode okay. off behind An the scenes off episode. Filler, filler, filler 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 oh there you uh, go thank you so um there's a little bit of that we also had the notion of my uh buddy which um derek you'll know you at least i think you'll remember hope so in one zach fitzsimmons oh. big big, no big, big dragon ball person no way uh, yep uh, him and I actually enjoyed playing the games and everything and watching along with it back in the day. And he said about everything was correct, except that he would switch the top three around. Ooh. He would have it in a different order. And I think it was three, two, and – or two, three, and one, as ah. in one, two, and three. That's where he would go. Don't move so, me. Two, I believe, was the uh, Gohan versus Cell fight, which you are – That should have been my number one. 
Yeah, I that's people, it. I had people tell me that the only thing they would switch was one and two, but it's also at that point you're splitting hairs. I had people tell me that number ten should have been number one, just because those people were me, and that was the only battle I've seen. Ivo, how many people did? How <laughs> many people told you about uh, that Mr. Satan or Hercule deserved to be good? How many a people was a that? Hand, just handful of people. Handful of people. <laughs> They, uh, they, they're but, definitely on my side with that one. <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> yes. How many people can you fit in your hand is the question. A handful is a very a loose hand, loose number. Depends on the size of the person. Well, that, that's a <laughs> No, big person can have small hands. That's another thing. Those Burger another King thing. hands. But. No free ads. I digress. <laughs> we move on because we talked about Dragon Ball. See if you can about me. Every hard, time I eat pretzels. About post hardcore stuff. Today, we're going to get into a little bit of a background dealing with a little bit more films, but we're also going to dr- drive into no. sports films. We're going to talk about sports films today, boys. This and, is a good uh, topic. Honestly, there's a <laughs> lot of them out there. Mrs. Right? Lowe says, Weird time to come it's in. Good. Oh, weird time. <laughs> Very oh, weird. So. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Wash it down with a bear. But yes, sports films are in the discussion today, boys. So I know there's a lot of that seems like a very generalized category. You know, baseball, football, even throwing ping pong today. We talked about that in class today. It was ping pong being the national sport? Uh, did I miss class again? Uh, you must yeah. have. <laughs> oh, we had, we had a test. Alarm again. We had a test, so you got to cram it. So <laughs> cram it in your cram hole of floor. <laughs> that was coming. I said, jump. I loved it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got sports movies to, on the brain of the rank king tonight. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's go right into it with our first radical ranking, though, which are the most underrated baseball films. Oh, I'm surprised. Can I, I, I? I'm surprised that you went linear on a sport for one of these, Austin. So I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I decided to like pick and prod a little bit. Didn't mm-hmm. want to do a little, you know, too much of my out of outside of my wheel. But I digress. I figured this would be a little bit of fun one, considering it's a sport I played for a good bit, and then realized that I got tired of being hit with the ball. And yeah. I believe <laughs> at one point, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Derek. One of those Hello. was by you a long, long time ago. <laughs> On purpose. I said I'm gonna end this fucker's career. <laughs> Wait, you actually play baseball? Oh, great at baseball. I didn't know. I knew you were a big baseball guy, but... Why is my I knew. You Did I move? All, I, all I'm saying is I stepped yeah, up to the plate. He'd be in the pretzels and moving. Yeah, true. I stepped up to the plate, so good. and he had a fire look in his eyes that I'd never seen before. At one point, I said, let's get it on. <laughs> I said, <laughs> he's please. Like, he's like, I didn't like that Christmas present you gave me last year. This one's coming <laughs> at your head. Pretty much. <laughs> but, the motion of it is that in one season I got hit twelve times, so I said, eh, "Maybe I'll call it quits. Maybe it's not for me." So I mean, bro- J- Jason Kendall made a career out of that, getting mm-hmm. hit by pitches. He, he could have one- been famous. You know, uh, I, he's <laughs> that. He's that. I'm something That's else. But we'll move. So uh, let's move on. Our first uh, underrated baseball film ties a little bit into another sport, and that is basketball. Hmm. The South Park direct, the uh, South Park created, directed, hilarious, noted, uh, film in which two idiots that have nothing going in their life try to make a sport out of two sports, and go not, not and a bad idea. Create it with it. I mean, it's 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 one of the most well known and highly anticipated to play movie created games ever. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's there's a lot of games that are made. Uh, Austin, you you keep moving my shit. There is no way. I'm not touching anything. I'm now in between the middle of the fucking table. Um, anyway, just uh, now I'm off. Fucking mute me. (laughs) So it's what you were saying. It's one of the most creative games of all time. You were saying. Don't talk with. Don't talk with. I didn't even eat a pretzel. Not a savage. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's easily one of the most like popular fake games of all time. See now. This would be a good notion for us to do sometime. I would actually like to see the thoughts from the bench crew do a game of basketball. Can you give us a top five rating of who would actually be good at that? Uh, I know Dre would be 20th. 
out of <laughs> people that are so. out of eligible uh, bachelors Dre's 20 <laughs> um that's the whole point of it that you don't have to be insanely athletic is that you just need to know what to do and how to psych people out so it's all mental and it would be all good for people that know how to play the yep. mental game so basketball at number five we move on to another comedy of the baseball variety and this is one that I watched with like my whole family, which kind of made me uncomfortable for a little bit. That's the bench warmers. Athlete. Athlete. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> um, I mean, you got three of the biggest like comedy icons in one film about essentially just standing up to bullies. I mean, it's a very easy concept. And they turned it into a hilarious notion of, you know, the, oh, what's the thing? Uh, of the meek versus the brawn. So I, I think it's a, it's a true underdog story. I don't know if that's true or not. What? They're bench warmers. Was it based on a true story? We know how that works. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this probably has happened before. Not to that extent, but it's but, been underdogs yeah, since- that win. <laughs> essentially the movie <laughs> inspires around three grown nerds that were picked on in school that notice that this kid is getting picked on by a group of bullies so they challenge them to a baseball game and the only one that has literally played baseball is rob schneider's character gus gus boss gus boss gus so he just starts being the team essentially and carrying them well this the kid that they're the team is bullying actually turns out to be the son of a very wealthy man who was also bullied. Jonah Hill. And decides to put together a tournament of the meanest baseball teams around, of the little, of the meanest little league teams around, yeah. and try to knock off the bench warmers. And it's a hilarious notion. We get a scene where a guy tries to come in and act like he's 12, and he's oh, yeah. basically <laughs> like he's in <from laughs> prison. I'm 12. <laughs> With a $20 bill attached yeah. to the paper. Yeah. Um, hilarious notions, uh, sides and turns, and the fact of the matter that I don't know how many times John Heater had to film, had to do in this film, of letting the bat go. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they (laughs) they tape it to his hands is the best thing ever. And they tallied up the squirrels injured and everything he hit with. He's like, 72 squirrels injured, four broken windows, three lost bats. Little baseball card. Yeah. But you got to think, if they're actually filming and their cars are all there, like, how far away did they have to park for? Oh no, I'm hitting all your cars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a zero percent chance I'm not aiming for the director's yeah. car. I also oh, want to sure. add in. I think there's always in these comedy movies like the, uh, the like oh everything's going right and we had a small hiccup, the the hiccup that all three of them are on base and they have to bring out what is it Richie yes. with the sword? Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. He's Nick afraid Swordson. of the sun. Yeah, yeah. He eats yeah, sunscreen. That's, uh, that's his. What was that? His brother or his cousin? You guys remember uh, that? I think it was his brother. It was his brother. Yeah. Brother sounds right. Brother. Pretty sure his brother. He had, his brother has agoraphobia, which afraid of being in the outside. Yeah. So the fact of the matter that they had to have him on base just to get hit to win the game. <laughs> that, w- that could have been you. Could have been you right there. <laughs> yeah. A lot better than being And that fact that he eats sunblock and chases away Girl Scouts. <laughs> Son of good. He gets free cookies, though. He does. They just, they just drop him. I them forgot and about that. He does get the free cookies. Big move. I was going to say, start. speaking of free, take out the FR, put in the TH, and we move on to our next one, So, which is number three, Little Big League. Uh, this is a good one. I, I'd say this one's definitely underrated. I don't, I don't, have you ever seen this, Deke? I have not. So it definitely belongs on this yeah. list. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Vo, did you want to explain that one a little bit since you're actually, you know, you know this one and I it's, feel like I'll give you time to talk. So it's basically like rookie of the year. Like the kid is in the major leagues, but he's the manager, not a player. Was it his grand his grandfather owned his the team? Yeah, his grandfather owned the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, and then his grandfather passed and he took over, became the manager. It's a dream come it's true, fun. basically. Yeah, essentially, he's running the team from, like, a Little League perspective. Yeah. And Interesting. it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, there's a scene where, you know, when you walk I – I actually never even knew this before I watched the film, but when you walk 
when you get like four balls, mm -hmm. you can actually run to base to get on. But then he has the guy run to second and the whole field gets so confused because they haven't done that thing since little league. So it's yeah. adding elements of, from a child's perspective to make the game more fun because the twins weren't essentially doing well at this time, I believe. Like they were like, is that a real, is that a real, is that a real thing? Huh? Is that a real thing? You can run to second. Yeah. I think so. I'm yeah. Pretty sure I mean, as long as the pitcher has yeah. the ball, right? Cause that's the whole thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, or doesn't they have it or something. The pitcher, as long as and he had ball. him like book it to first and then go to second. And the guy got so confused because nobody ever does that in I the major. As, as long as he's not on the mound. Yeah, if my little dork of a kid ever wants to play baseball, I'm doing that. Yeah, or the hidden ball <laughs> trick. Yeah, yeah, I'm teaching them all the dirty yeah. things. Yeah, we're going to get <laughs> drunk before games. <laughs> we actually, yeah. in high school, our team did a trick play and it worked. Oh, really? There's a fake pickoff. The shortstop and second baseman both dove. And the oh, yeah. just runs to the wall, but the pitcher has the he ball. He acts in his like hand. the ball's gone. So everyone screams and shouts and everyone uh, runs, and then he just goes up, tags, uh, and huh. worked both times. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Two for two. <laughs> Speaking of two. Number two. Uh, though you might know this one too. I had this one on VHS along with the uh, the Twins one. Um, this is Angels Under... of the Underworld. <laughs> <coughs> Underrated? I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know if this would be underrated. This wasn't, like, for me, this wasn't, like, a big baseball movie that was around, but the star power in it, actually, this is one of Joe, what is it, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's first movies? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he yeah. plays the kid. Like, I never knew that to start. Adrian Brody, uh, Christopher Lloyd, Matthew McConaughey, Danny Glover. Yep. Big names. Big it's stars, a Disney like, movie, I mean, too. It didn't really, like, do well on the thing. I mean, it got, like, a you're dealing with like the concept of a religion inserted into a baseball thing. So naturally people are going to get their feathers ruffled, but it's 33%. So I essentially would like to watch this again at some point, but the kid mm -hmm. basically loves this team, even though they're the worst team in the NFL or almost said NFL. NFL. Wow. wow. Um, MLB. Um, and kind of like the pirates Just get, get, get a load of this guy. <laughs> He's no, he doesn't know sports and stuff. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but he, his dad actually promises to reunite his family if the Angels make it to the World Series. Yeah. yeah. So when in they, order to the do Angels this, win the now, in order to do this, the team gets a little help from a uh, higher power, so to speak. Wow. And the fact that they're the Angels, and they are getting wow. help. They're they're God's Wait, team. Wait, so I'm not putting words in your mouth, but Angels help the Angels. In the outfield. Wow. That sounds like some fucking collusion. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean. It... Put it this but... way. The, all of the scenes <laughs> are virtually. Words. <laughs> all, of the, all of the scenes in this are hilarious. Yeah. Uh, when he actually. When it sounds they, like I, cheating. I, it, it sure does sound like cheating. Well, it's fine. Uh, this... <laughs> it's fine. It's a Disney movie. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the center fielder actually goes back, and he knows he's not going to make the uh, the catch. So two yeah. angels pick him up by the pick shoulders yeah. and coast him along to make the catch. And everyone is looking at him like, how is he able to do that? <laughs> like, that's, he, It's like, that's some paranormal shit right there. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to steal uh, Rad Gay Lad's comment, but it sounds like cheating. Yeah. That sounds like aggressively cheating. Too many men yeah. on the field. Is that a, that's got to be a thing in baseball, right? <laughs> yeah, the the DH but, is in the outfield. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, read that comment, though. Uh, comment. It's a Disney movie. The Angels could have helped Bambi's mom, but they playing baseball instead. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I, they're big baseball fans, I guess. Man. Yeah. Poor um, Bambi's mom. Yeah, man. he can't help the Bucks. That's NBA. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, the big the big thing in this was just the relationship between uh, Joseph Gordon Lovett's character and Danny Glover, which it's crazy how Danny Glover looks like that and looks today. Essentially, it's the same, right? Basically, yeah. And yeah. Joseph Gordon Levitt went from being a you know a kid to an actual adult, and he still looks yeah. like that. It's crazy so, how that happens. I want to know his secret, but the secret main one right now is what's behind door number one. Right. What's the number one underrated 
baseball film. And I know a lot of you are going to get like, uh, is it underrated? To me it is because it's not in the big tops. <laughs> this is Fever Pitch. You're calling Jimmy Fallon's number one movie <laughs> of all time underrated? <laughs> I agree with you. I love this movie, but it's also super underrated. I mean, Jimmy Fallon, Drew Barrymore, everyone thought this was going to be Jimmy Fallon's big step into stardom. And it was, yeah. I mean, it was in a sense that it's cool when he's now Jimmy Fallon, the host, but he was the comedian back then, and it was like Alan Fest. And I don't know. I thought was it was Was this like, before or after SNL when he was on After. He's, he was SNL early. I'm pretty sure about that. I can do some research, but talk about the movie a little more. I, I think you're right, D. Um, for this, essentially, it's it combines the element of romance and baseball all into one, right? Like, Jimmy Fallon's character has seats that was given to him through his family, and he loves these seats. He's been through these seats, and he finally meets a woman and Drew Barrymore that they're trying to you know, start something. And she's, I think, the one of the most hilarious scenes from this movie, which which is bad to say because it was violent, was when she gets like dinged in the head. Oh with the yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and then she forgets all their dates, and he has to keep reenacting different movie. the dates. Oh for, what you, what? It's a different movie, but that's no, no, probably nobody, what happened. No, 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 what? No, movies. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> probably what uh, happened. Though. Fun, fun fact about this movie, Austin. They did not know that was going to be the year that the Boston Red Sox won the World Series. They were yeah. had already started playing the movie. That was around this because you can in one of the scenes, um, they are leaving the restaurant and he's hearing that the Yankees are up by I think it was seven or eight. The Yankees are up. Yankees are up. Red Sox will never come back. We're fine. And then it's the single greatest comeback in baseball history at that point. Mm-hmm. And so they they like wrote per- parts of that into it. it. Yeah, like they they added parts into that movie um, about it because the movie was in 05. Jimmy Fallon was on SNL in uh, 1998 ish is when uh, he got okay. his start. So it was after just to back it up. Um, yeah, I was gonna say because at the end of that film they relived the whole like yeah you know power thing because the championship was in 04 they even had uh what his uh or the 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 guy's bloody sock they even had the guy's bloody sock kurt kurt schilling yeesh but yeah um i thought that this was probably one of the funniest like love stories in terms of like baseball setting and the fact if you can make me interested in a baseball movie with romance we're already there so jimmy found drew barrymore good on your ends guys so that would be the end of our first radical ranking. Yeah. So yeah, I, we've I agree with m- most of them. Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah. I mean, I would say I had one in there earlier, which I told Vo. I said, "Eh, maybe <laughs> take that one out. That's probably the worst actual baseball film." That's that, that, ever. One, that one made me laugh when I saw yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, which Derek, if you don't know, was uh, Ed. Did you ever see Ed? Mm, no. Which, the horse. Uh, Isn't that the talking horse? Is that the talking no, horse? Close. No, that's uh. So it's Matt LeBlanc from Friends, plays a baseball pitcher, and he is so bad that he gets demoted from the majors to the minors, and the team he goes to has a ch- or has a monkey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. MVP, but with baseball, that's better. Base. Yeah. 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 Cool. So, um, <laughs> it was a. Little, I was like, uh, that movie's actually kind of terrible. I don't. I don't know if I <laughs> yeah. put that in there. But would you consider Field of Dreams underrated? Have you ever seen Field of Dreams? I've seen Field of I Dreams. I would consider it properly rated. I mean, you either, like some people do say they don't like it, but it's mm-hmm. one of the greatest sports movies yeah. of all time. Like it's widely considered by people that enjoy the sports genre to be great. And if you just don't enjoy the sports genre, then you're just not gonna like that movie. You know what I mean? That like so. Sense, yeah. Yeah, I think when it comes to like those type of movies, you have to have like a little bit of a driving force under the sport, which mm-hmm. is like exactly what you know, you know, Angels in the Outfield does with like incorporating a little bit of like hilar- hilarity and like inspiredy with religion whereas you know fever pitch is like you know a love story based around like will these two ever oh and here's the boston red sox you know like it, it has to be like with that so okay. maybe i so to speak but we move on from radical ranking one to radical ranking numero two which is i don't know th- if you're supposed to say two after yeah. numero numero dos uh, numero duo 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 <laughs> the goal! <laughs> Damn, clipping is, that one <laughs> and clip sports dramas sports dramas now just to clarify because vo and i i started tossing just mm-hmm. movies right yes just movies just, okay just movies yes because he, he was pretty mad there was there's a sum and i know somebody just joined in the chat uh that is a friend of mine 
that I think uh, if if their movie's not in this os, there's there's going to be hell to pay. Uh-oh. Well, I paid the devil once or twice already, so it ain't going to be anything. I'll close replace to that. you with Steph. Did you see the clip of Among Us today, by the way? No. Steph knew she was going to die in Among Us last night, so she just killed Austin and went out. <laughs> <laughs> How mad were you? <laughs> Austin was super mad. I was just like, you know what? I invite you on here. I have, <laughs> like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to help her. And that's what she does. But you know what? It's all underwater under the bridge. Unlock, we have number five, which is Rudy. <laughs> You got, okay. you got something to say? Okay. No, 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 no. I actually just rewatched uh, the episode of uh, Blue Mountain State where they pretend to have the guy Rudy. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, so it's okay. kind of like rewatching Rudy. Yeah, basically, basically the same. Yeah. Same no, aspect. I think this is. I think this belongs. My mom writes in ice castles. Like the hockey rink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm checking right now to see. Is that in Rudy and I'm just missing it? Or is that a movie? So. That might be a movie. I don't know. Anyways, Austin, keep talking about Rudy. Apologies. Yeah, no, so it's essentially a guy that needs wants to play football at the University of Notre Dame. You were watching movies in 78, Marcia? Just doesn't movies have the money for the tuition, <laughs> cool. nor does he have the grades. So essentially, he has to build himself up in order to make just the wildest of dreams come true just to get on the field, right? Yep. This is one of the most inspiring stories with it, especially with, like, oh, he was, like, overcoming from dyslexia and everything, so it, it's it's crazy, man. Like, the whole point of this is just a great, great film. Uh, <laughs> so my mom was just kidding, but uh, Hop, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. He writes, Vince Vaughn made Rudy great. Can stand by. Austin, some people, uh, not in this chat, just in other chats, are calling you the Rudy of Thoughts from the Bench because you <laughs> ground your way on Two Beers Deep, started your own segment, and now have your, own, have your show. own show. So j- just for a I second, just, like, just stand like that, like put your arms out. The Rudy King? Do the Ru- Rudy. That's actually <laughs> just, just come in like, hey, instead of the right king, it's the Rudy <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one interesting thing to tell. It'd be like one of his like many Colonel Sanders like chicken commercials. To yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Be like, we gotta get back on the field from a taste it fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Been watching Django too many times. I picked that Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> accent too well. So we move on from five to four, guys. Yes, sir. Number four was probably I think it's our most recent one. Yeah, and number four is The Blind Side. I don't think I've actually watched this. One. Really? It's 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 is this a Disney movie? I feel uh, like there's something like that well, that it, I actually is, don't I don't, I don't think, think it's it Disney, is. but I, it's Disney like. Yeah, that's I'm, what I'm trying to get at is it, it it like if this was on Disney Plus, it'd be like, "Oh, like yeah, uh-huh. I'll, I'll watch that tonight." It's a feel good story. I mean, there was obviously things that came out cuz it's uh, about Michael Orr and his transition from um, living, you know, without a bed, homeless, to becoming an NFL star. And, uh, yeah. and it really hits home on the, the family that adopted him and those types of things. Um, there were a lot of issues with this movie early on. And Michael Orr originally brought up the fact that they made him look like he was reading impaired and he was actually de- – like, things like that yeah. that happen in movies. I mean, Rudy wasn't to the T. But I think The Blind Side is a, is a very good movie um, with a very good message and belongs in the category. It's kind of like that based on yeah, true story. Just, just to see in the yeah, film of perspective, like – where this all went through with Michael Orr and everything. And, you know, whether it was all, like, 100% accurate or not, which, again, most movies aren't, like, you really felt, like, a pain and struggle with the character, at least. Yeah. Like, uh, willing to understand, like, like this kid doesn't have much. He really wants to play football. He really wants to do well. But essentially just wants to have a family. He just wants to have a nice life. Yeah. So um, if you don't get more drama than that, then we have a lot to talk about. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I really – Really enjoyed this film. And Sandra Bullock, man, she played the shit out of this character. Yeah. In this film. I loved her in this movie. And all I remember was, like, if I ever have, you know, kids or anything, you know, somehow, like, I'm going to be the person calling and be like, you need to run the damn ball. What are you doing? <laughs> You're going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy, but it's in <laughs> it's my future. Gonna happen. Live through the kids. <laughs> <laughs> What we can live through is going from four to three, boys. So number three is 
I said, you're the best in the biz at transitions. I am. So <laughs> we so go happy from about that. <laughs> four, two, three, which is one of Josh's favorite films, and that's Miracle. Yeah, this is uh, this at three is tough for me. Okay, so in, in, in a way that I think that this this could be number one. Yeah, you know it, what I mean. I don't be, hate it, us just thinking out loud. It'd probably be yeah. my top two. It's it was really hard to like figure out where exactly I needed to put this one because, yeah, I mean it, the story of it all, just like you know how Josh just told it and everything, which is the hockey and everything yeah. with how them beating. One of the best teams. Yeah. I'm so glad my friend uh, that I told you I was jumping in was making an account, and Jordan is in here and said Miracle should be higher than three, and Mrs. Yeah. Gless agrees. Yeah. Austin, yeah. the chat is turning. Let it turn. <laughs> Let it turn. <laughs> Let I mean, it turn. Let it burn. I mean, at least you have it on the list. At least it made the list. This is not one of one of like that. It's left off in some magical fashion. You're not. But... You're not a big hockey guy either, right? No, I'm not a big hockey guy. So but like, I, can... I was surprised to see this on your on your top list. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big football guy, but I'm also not putting the little giants on here. So well, that's, that's, that's not a drama. That's not a drama. I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> on my <laughs> icebox. Yeah. No, but Miracle, the, the just the 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 thi- like the inner workings of the drama between cutting players and the game itself, and the fact that like a lot of people think that was for the gold medal. Like, there's so many elements to that that movie yeah. that really like. I remember when that movie came out, my mom was like, "Oh, I remember sitting in my college dorm and we listened to it on the radio." Yeah. And stuff like people just you know that was such an iconic moment that it. Uh, I thought it's it would probably be, and I don't know what your other two are. It would probably be my number one right now, just thinking out loud for ones that I can think of off the top of my head. But it, you know, at least it's on the yeah. list. Yeah, um, I was happy to see it on the list. Yeah, I'm happy that it's said. And while it's not Miracle Whip, let's whip into number two and have it be. <laughs> Gary, he lost his title. title. He lost the title. I did. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can only have so many nicknames and everything. I hate Triple H with like four different nicknames. Yeah. So, uh, I will say that this was a struggle right now between whether I put this one at two or this one at one. Finally, just threw it in here at two, and I'm not 100% confident about it. But number two, boys, is Remember the Titans. Yeah. Uh, See, okay. that's uh, mine would be one. Remember the Titans, two Miracle. Miracle just. Uh, I, I mean, I, I I can appreciate that. Mm. Yeah, I can say they're like, one and like two. When remember, remember the Titans is on TV, I always watch. It. Really? Like if I see it's on, yeah, I always. It put is it on. not in the category of always watch when it's on, mm-hmm. but I'll never turn down watching it if that makes sense. Like if it's on, like. Movies that are if it's on, and Austin, you know, I think you know this about me, Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Couples Retreat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, those two, yeah. if they're on TV, I'm watching the entire thing. Titans, I'm yeah. not going to be like, do not put that movie on. I'm like, I'll watch the crap out of it. Just yeah. not Why is it yeah, too, it's, Austin? It's, well, just their struggle with the whole racial demographic and everything that yeah. goes on with that, right? And how a, probably one of the most powerful scenes in this film is when the uh, one player just got into a you know car accident after the big game after a game and you had the one uh, you know black player go in and they were like well it's family only it's like well I don't know if you know this but you know can't see the resemblance that's, that's my brother, my brother yeah. Lois. and that's one of the most powerful lines in all of just not just racially like but sports with that like that's powerful man and while Miracle talked a lot about overcoming the odds, racism, overcoming the odds of racism was more in depth for this. And that's why, in my mind, it was higher than Miracle, just because of the struggles and the confusion and diversity that everybody had, but everyone really should have been thinking of unity in one mind. And it just wasn't the case yeah. until, like, coaches – came by like this films came by like this mm. and we realized that this is not the way we're supposed to act this is how we're supposed to do and we'll get it done i uh i do not like to make light of issues but i do i am interested to see which movie beat the movie that beat racism for you because if that is the stance that makes it number two ahead of miracle number one better be like independence day well, Independence Day would be a little weird to put on. <laughs> we beat aliens. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's the greatest <laughs> win of all time. I'm, uh, I'm curious, but based off that, if that's your reasoning for, for two and three, to see the reasoning behind what one is, because I think a lot of people would put two and three, and obviously, top of the head, I would put two and three at one and two. That's, so that's I'm curious be, to see yeah. your logic behind what one I, is. I don't like this number one. I was going to say, does anybody, <sighs> nobody has an idea, right? Um, so this is- 
So I, I, I it's um, dramas, sports, sports dramas, Talladega Nights. Uh-huh. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. Well, if, you don't, if you don't chew big red, then fuck you. Right? <laughs> Speaking of Big Red, uh, what is number one, Austin? <laughs> good transition. That's good transition, you alert. Ah. So, um, number one is Rocky. See, uh, hmm. I'm not crazy about Rocky. So uh, Jordan will be upset because there is no just waiting Friday for just Night waiting Lights. For <laughs> that was what I thought was going to have to. How did Friday Night Lights not make your list? Uh, man, there's just so many. Like There are a lot. I'll give you that. Here. Um, and not saying Friday Night Lights isn't like a great one. It would, if it had to be on like a top ten, it would probably. He said be he's sick. gonna riot over here. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm right there with you, Jordan. She is one of the most badass humans I've met, Austin. So you have made an enemy. The Rocky, uh, the Rocky right Horror there. Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally your did. number one, Austin. Uh, so why why Rocky, Austin? <laughs> it's a simple man's dream. Right, it's simple man trying to get out there and achieve it, right? And he'll go to the lengths of the world in order to do that. Now, I know that might seem like a little light compared to like the issues of like racism and like you know sports all around the world, but sometimes it plans to keep it. It plays to keep it simple. And I, what are yeah. you trying to do with your life? What are you trying like? What is about you? And for me, like Rocky, really, every time I watch this, I get like a little bit of a fire in my chest. And that might be heartburn from the nachos that I eat. <laughs> like, but that's not the case. Like, I firmly believe that I get a little bit inspired to do what I want to do each day and achieve what I want in my life every time I watch it. <laughs> yeah, and if that's not one of your favorite scenes in the movie, you're nuts. Jordan writes in Friday Night Lights, Miracle, Remember the Titans, in that order. Defended us. I'm not hating it. Not um, hating it. I thought he said eating. I was like, <laughs> no, no. Rocky's Rocky's an interesting one because there are a lot of dramatic aspects that are not uh, taken into account because it's such like an actiony movie that you don't you don't understand that how dramatic the ending is. <laughs> He's trying to find. Her. He's like, <laughs> and he goes and finds her and tells her he loves her. So, I I I, I think Rocky deserves to be right on there. there, Austin. It deserves to be on there, but it wouldn't be my number one. So, and just just to clarify, so Derek, you would have in order from one to three. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where'd he go? Oh, we broke him. Welcome to the ranking with Derek. I am your host. <laughs> <laughs> go to Zoom. No, go to the actual Zoom. There it, there is. it is. All right, Austin, well, you are back. Oh, Can God, you give us? Okay, okay. I'm back. <laughs> now you're good. Zoom just kicked oh, out. So oh, you God. were saying, Derek, you Zoom have... didn't like number one. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, rant. no, I, I, I went to ask you that question, and I didn't get a response, and I said, oh, my God, they're all dead. It's happening. <laughs> well, let me, it's let, happening. Me, let me, let me, let um, me, so I, I did pull up a list for this one now. Let me ask you some movies okay, that on. didn't make this. League yeah. of Their Own. And I won't give out too many, because I know we're doing equal our ranking where we're picking, but. Yeah, yeah, equal parts dramedy, equal parts comedy, so that one was tough for me. Rocky with is... just the aspect of how the action. All right, I like it. The last okay, one. Okay, so the only other, the only other one I wanted to ask about, um, that might be near my top, that maybe not a lot of people uh, agree with, um, but one of the ones that I consider one of the better ones of all time is Moneyball. Hmm. Oh, Moneyball, Hardball, Hardball too. Yeah, I really. Ooh. Wow, I I have one too. Uh, Coach Carter. Ooh. That's one of my favorites. Ooh. So we're getting we're getting into listing movies now, so I don't want to get like Concu- Yeah, we can't prove hold on, we can't prove Austin movie. wrong. It's just, you know Concussion? <laughs> no, Austin, I think that I think that Rocky deserves so to be in that conversation. A, Concussion. Yeah, if I had a top ten, those ones would probably go into there at some oh, point. For sure. kid, man, make it a top ten like that would be insane. Which maybe I'll do sometime. I'll wrap my brain and I'll like hide in my room for three days straight trying to do that one. <laughs> so <laughs> trying to that would be a hard process. But radical rankings concluded. Now, boys, it is time for the great debate. Love it. And for this one, <laughs> it is very, very 
interesting because each one of us yeah. has to come up with our best film for five different sports. Lit. And I've man, definitely moved I again. Love... There's n- I sat in this goddamn chair. Stop moving. I hate the show. <laughs> Sorry, just move over. It's not because of you, Austin. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I was gonna say no kids. No, you're fine. So sports. We have football, baseball, soccer, hockey, and basketball. Each one of us has to list our favorite film. And obviously, you know, like, explain a little bit, but don't go on a fucking monologue or some shit because we got more to talk about. But um, (laughs) so I will say that I've gone through first for everyone. So if one of you two would like to go first on this, that's fine with me. We'll take it sport by sport. All right. And list our things. I can only move over so, so far, just to warn you. Stop moving over. Look at the... So oh, which yeah, I think there's a ghost in here. Fight you uh, for charity. So first, <laughs> first topic is going to be basketball. Heard. Okay. So your favorite basketball film to watch. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? You're going first. All right. So my basketball choice is Coach Carter. Yeah. I think that's like I one said, of it's one, one of my favorite movies. It's another one. Whenever it's on, I always watch it. Yep. I, I just enjoy it. It's great acting, great story. Great acting, yeah. It has uh, the the guy wasn't he in My Cousin Skeeter? Do you remember that show, with Nickelodeon? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, the who, puppet. Who was the cousin? Was it? He was a yeah. He he was uh, he's um he's uh, Samuel Jackson's kid. Uh, Robert Richard. There's an apostrophe somewhere random after the I before this. Yeah, Robert Richard. He's Samuel Jackson's kid. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, f- for me, um, are you writing them on or are we just? I'm do you want me to go? Is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah. I'll, um, I'll type as we go. I'm gonna go with uh, White Man Can't Jump. Okay. I think that that one. is by far the best basketball movie ever created. Yeah, I love Woody Harrelson. So now it goes to me, and since Bo had taken mine, I'm not going to double down with him. I'm going to pick one, and a little odd, might be a little odd, but it has one of the greatest basketball players in the world, and uh, probably one of the best, uh, hey, uh, what's up, Doc? Uh, Cartoons, and let's go with Space Jam for mine. hate it at all. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, for me, Space Jam was clearly in that conversation because it's, it's one of the most that, iconic movies ever. That was my number two basketball oh, movie, yeah. But I, I didn't want to go with Space Jam on that one because <laughs> Coach Carter is obviously better. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, when you take that originally, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna double down and do that. So I'd be like, well, I'll do Space Jam. You know, you know. Yeah, I think those three deserve to be there, though. Oh, definitely. Um, Bo, what's our second sport, bud? Uh, second sport's gonna be baseball. We're just gonna go in alphabetical order easier that way that's not true at all <laughs> baseball has an e where basketball has a k so after this we're going after this we're going to go alphabetical <laughs> austin okay say. after after this mess up we're going to go in alphabetical order so i was thinking basketball <laughs> from earlier i don't want to so. talk to you <laughs> well, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, you're up <laughs> i went first last time are we rotating yeah, let's rotate because I gotta think of one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then I'll go first, and then you, Oz, and then Vo. The okay. best baseball movies of all time. I mean, oh, I got mine, <laughs> sir. I'm literally talking. Uh, no, there's a bunch that I think are really good. That you know, somewhere I- I'm gonna go with uh, 42, Jackie Robinson. Okay. I uh, yeah. I thought Chadwick Boseman was terrific. Yeah, I mean that that's a great choice, man. Uh, that was de- I would say that's probably my number two. So. Yeah thankful that it's not number what's your number, number one, one yeah. which i think my number one is going to piss off vogue because it might be his so uh i'm gonna go with the sandlot that mine. was that was gonna be my number one yeah i kind of figured someone was gonna say <laughs> that i wasn't sure who or where or why but it's a great great baseball movie yeah oh it's terrific Can I take the you should take the sandlot too <laughs> yeah as trash as that was oh no, that God. one was terrible <laughs> uh just to spite me yeah right <laughs> uh what's another good one uh rookie of the year i do like that oh, one. that's a good one that's a very good oh, one. Yeah, um, the Rookie's another one that I always like to watch. Rookie, League uh, of Their Own is a big Bill one uh, that I thought about. Uh, Mr. 3000. Yeah, I, that, I would, uh, that for the yeah. underrated ones. I was underrated say, Mr. 3000, Mr. 3000. I, th- I thought about there. So are there any other ones that uh, we missed for this one? 
Uh, well, we said it earlier, but uh, Moneyball definitely. Yep, I think Moneyball, Moneyball is. Ball, so yeah. there's two sports movies that Moneyball, I hardball. have that Hardball too. There's two sports movies that I have that are more on the GM side of things than the playing that mm-hmm. I love. Moneyball is one of them. Uh, we'll mm-hmm. see how the football one comes up if I have to take that or not. But oh yeah. All right, well, it's our next All sport, right. bud. Next sport is golf. Oh. This was added. You didn't know about this one. Ah, and I go third. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah did, that's true. Yeah, right. <laughs> Austin's up really first, at least. I really only know two golf movies, so. I named three. You're fine. Oh, God. So what? So we got golf up now? That's what we're doing? Yes, sir. Yep. All right. There's at least one, Austin, that you should know. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to pick it. And I know that, you know, the movie lovers are going to love me for it. I'm going to pick Caddyshack for yes. this one. Yeah, I was going to. So that was done. not the one that I knew you were going to know, but that is the greatest golf movie of all time. That's that's the skin off Until my I bones. Mine. I was... Yeah, I knew, I knew what yours was going to be based off that because <laughs> we talked about it and you only named two movies. So it had to be one of them. Yeah, so mine's going to be Happy Gilmore, obviously. Great movie. Tremendous. Has a little bit of hockey in there. Bob Barker. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of lot of stuff. Gators. Chubs. <laughs> it's all Got in the hits. Uh, I will take a movie that um, – so there's a couple here. You know, I think that this is not what I'm taking. Bagger Vance deserves to be in the conversation. The greatest game ever played deserves to be in the conversation. I'm going to go with Tin Cup. Uh, Tin Ooh. Cup. Love it. Love when he starts uh, breaking the golf clubs because his caddy wants him to hit. I think it's a seven. He wants to hit an eight. So they just start snapping <laughs> golf clubs over his leg until he only has the club left that he wanted to oh, use. That's genius. And then he plays the rest of the, the entire tournament with, with that, that club. club. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's genius. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> so give me Tin Cup. That's Tin a great Cup. one, man. I, I forgot all about that movie. Shoot. I've only seen it like once, and it was a long time ago, but it is it is a very good movie. Kevin Costner, right? Yes. Another Kevin Costner movie? Yeah. And the guy, his caddy. Is a very iconic guy. Uh, oh, Cheech. Cheech and Chong Cheech. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cheech Marin. That's it. That's, man. I, didn't even, I forgot all about that shit. Yep. I'm trying to think uh, if there's any other golf movie. I mean, I, will I would say consider that, Space Jam. I was going to say Space Somewhere? Jam just because there's a little bit it's of It's not a golf there. movie, but. Um, I, I will say that I looked on here and there's a movie called Who's Your Caddy? Really don't want to find it. But that's about, so. <laughs> wow. Um, He's looking it up right now. I definitely am Googling <laughs> best golf movies of all time. So, yeah, greatest game I ever played, Bagger Vance. Uh, the short game is that's a documentary. Get out of here with that yep. bullshit. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there was a Caddyshack 2, I believe, at one point, but that really yeah. wasn't there. Um, yeah, they were just trying to cash in on the excess of the first Caddyshack. Yep. You know, that really didn't turn out too well. Though, what's our next sport, fella? Our next sport is football. Hey. And it goes Vo me Austin. Yes. Uh, like I said, remember the Titans has to be my number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't hate it's, that at all. Well, the movie I watch all the time when it's on, you, yeah, I went to West Mifflin, we were the Titans, so it makes sense. Give me, uh, there are plenty of iconic football movies. Only one movie, though, has Willie Beeman, Steven. Give me Any Given Sunday. Any Given Sunday. Yeah. Willie Steven Beeman, baby. Sharks. Oh, now we get to me. This is he, this is a hard one little giants. for me. So I'll give I'll give my one, but then I'll give my two just so we can be clear. Give us a three to... after. Yeah, might as well go for yeah, four. Let's just make it a uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the number one for me is going to be the longest yard. Okay. So longest for that yard. one, my the, two. The original or the Adam Sandler? Uh, Adam Sandler burger. I've seen both. But I think that the remake with Adam Sandler plays into a little bit more of the comedic aspect of it, which I love. Um, but my uh, second one is actually more of on the drama scale, and that's uh, We Are Marshall. Ah, uh, okay. I, I was surprised that wasn't on the dramas list. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and like I said, there's, there's when people like make a movie and they want to be about sports, there are two options. <laughs> or do we want to make it comedic or do we want to make it drama? And yeah. it's an, always a flip of the coin with that every time. There's so many movies with those are you two saying it, We Are Marshall was a comedy. Uh, no, I'm saying that there are abilities to make a whole bunch of sports Don't comedies and a whole bunch of sports dramas. Ah. So, so they, they chose drama with that one. Yeah, yeah. they decided it was drama. Um, my, uh, my movie that I was talking about that was about um, the back end of sports is Draft Day. Okay. Kevin Costner. I formally love any movie that shows that. Uh, we Are Marshall, fantastic 
Jordan, you are 100% correct, yeah. We are Marshall. That's a great second one there for you, Oz. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Is that it? Nope. Hell, Hell nah. Two we got more. Hell no. We got two more. Let's two go. Two more. Uh, this one's going to be hockey. So I think Austin's up first. We could add a third category of miscellaneous if we want to. Because there are a lot of other weird ones. We can talk about it. Uh, I think I'm up first. Hockey, you got to go Miracle. It's, it's, yeah. I think that it's the greatest drama movie for sports, and I think that it's the best hockey movie. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't think there would be any, like, if one of us was on, like, the first one of this was going Miracle no matter what, I think. So now it's just up to the next two to try to. Go mine, and I'm gonna go with one of the best comedies with hockey, and that's Slapshot. Okay. Mm. Love mm. that movie. No, that's a good one. That is a good Sweet choice. I know which one Vo's going with. I don't think you do. What do you think I'm going with? Goon. Goon. Nope. I'm gonna have to go with. Ooh, that hurt to hear that. <laughs> yeah, gonna go with the Mighty Ducks. Oh, love that. Grew yeah. up watching them. Yeah. Uh, they made three films, so. Great movie right there. What other what and other they're hockey? Making, they're making a series now, too. Good. They should. What other uh, hockey movies are out there? Because there's Goon, which obviously Goon. we talk about a lot. Uh, what's the – isn't there a Blood one? Young Blood. Young Blood. That's, That's an forever. older one. That is a good yeah. one. Yeah. There's uh, Mystery Alaska. I've never seen that one, but I heard uh, – MVP. Heard MVP. Most Valuable Primate, Austin. You know that one. Uh, and then you just have, like, the Mighty Duck sequels that have gone into that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think out, you know, top of mind. Um, oh, well. Anyways, uh, let's get to our last sport. Last sport The best is... sport. It's a pretty good sport. Okay. I don't know if it's best. That's but... enough audio. It's soccer, yep. Yep. I didn't and, even have well, to say you have soccer. The fir- you have the first pick, too. He's going to bend it like that. I have like the Beckham. first pick or Derek has the first you pick? Do. No, Derek just had the first pick. Um, so, yeah, we'll go with me with soccer. And, man, Ian will tell you this. This is probably one of the greatest movies I have ever seen today with the sport of soccer category. <laughs> alone. Mine is Green Street Hooligans. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah. There, I didn't even I, think about I, that for a song. It is... I like I like soccer, but then I watched this movie and I said, holy fuck, what? I love soccer. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I need you is... to take back that entire sentence because you said I know, I you know, gave I Ian know. credit for the movie that I <laughs> – showed your I, entire ahead, family ahead. i'll let you, I, you, I, might, you I, might no no me. you can take the pick i just need you to understand that ian didn't just wake up one day and like that movie okay so i, I think I, you I told you, me to watch I, that. I you to i've honestly. told everyone that i've ever spoke to in my life to watch that come on you am i'm forever blowing bubbles <laughs> filthy bubbles and day air they made a second one too didn't they yeah the second one was shit they're in jail yeah. it's really weird uh that that's one. a great great pick <laughs> awesome just cat, just try to cash in on the, like the original, Char- Charlie Hunnam and Elijah. Man, they're so good in this. Movie. Yeah, the fucking major, fucking major. You can He's go in next. Club. Oh, it's such a good movie. If no, one, yeah, guys. If anyone in the chat, Ms. Glass, Jordan, Hop, my mom, my mom's seen it. I made my mom watch it a lot. Go watch Green Shirt Hooligans. It's a, it's a great yes. movie. I, I totally forgot about that one. For that soccer. so that should be in best dramas. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. Number one. Be a bad idea. Uh, I mean, pop, miracles. Pop miracles based on pop, a true story. Green Street Hooligans there. literally happened. That's how uh, Elijah Wood came back to America. Yep. Hmm. So, so for my yeah, pick, Hop, aren't you a Hammer? Aren't you a, a West Ham fan? I feel like he's a West Ham. I think he has a West Ham tattoo. That really? mother. He, that, <laughs> Pop, you have a West Ham tattoo. <laughs> I forgot yes, him. Sorry. Yeah, he went over there and he got a West Ham tattoo. I forgot about that. That's pretty sweet. Look though. at me in my brain. <laughs> Uh, for my choice, it's another childhood classic, The Big Green. Oh, love that. It's just one of, the, one. one of those films, The Big Green, Little Giants, like all the, I grew up watching all this. And uh, honorable mention, Air Bud. Well, I, uh, there goes <laughs> my pick. Uh, <laughs> no, there's a ton of good ones here. I mean, you could, um, I could go funny and go kicking and screaming oh, with yeah. Will Ferrell. I could go, Beyonce. um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually just amazing. watched that like last week. Oh, it's it's so funny. Um, but I'm gonna go with Goal. The Dream Begins. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen is Goal. That the Mary Kay and Ashley. Yep. Movie. No. I'm that's another. <laughs> it is about Santiago Munez, who is a um, 
he's from Mexico, and the first scene is them coming to America, living in California, and he's playing pickup and gets picked up by a scout, gets sent over to Newcastle, uh, and you follow his his career transitioning to the professional okay. game from just growing up loving it. So goal is uh is my pick. I mean, there was a big part of that movie where like he was trying to hide right the fact that he had asthma. Which is... Yes, yeah. I mean he was trying to hide asthma because he thought that he would fail his physical. Um, mm-hmm. It's him transitioning and trying to understand. You know the culture over there. It's him trying to understand dynamics of a professional team because he never grew up with money or anything. So it's it's a very good movie. Oh, uh, in the comments we got a good one that a lot of people, including myself, really loved, and then Ian liked. She's the man. She's the man is great. great. She's the man is great. Love that. Uh, Bend it like Beckham Beckham is a good like. She's the man is is so perfectly funny and good, and I just that was at Amanda's peak. Yeah, like around there, maybe a little after, but she was still very famous at that yeah. point. Uh, Bennett, like Beckham, I thought was really, really, really original. Like I was really happy with how the story went out and everything of that nature. So I really liked it. Those are good picks, Jordan. I'm trying to think. All of right. Well, f- that was our great yeah, I debate, know. and I loved it. Do we want to do Austin a, a, a real quick miscellaneous? I know we're at seven, but we can go till eight if you guys are okay with that. Vote doesn't have a hockey game tonight, yeah, we're so good. I don't want to speak for you, but we <laughs> can I'm do fine. it. But, cool. Yeah. And I'm talking about, like, just any sport that wasn't in those ones, uh, a favorite movie um, that you guys want to, or a favorite thing like that. I'm trying to think. Who would go for uh, – well, you go first on this one, or uh, – I – If you have one, go. Yeah, yeah, if you have one, I'll feel free. I guess he doesn't. No, I'll, I'll say dodgeball. That, yep. Dude, you <laughs> Dodgeball Shit. deserves to be in there, man. Dodgeball, yeah. Dodgeball's one of the greatest, man. Ugh. It's so good. Like, everything it's, about it. And the, the, the actual physical playing is yeah. actually Story good, too. Storylines. Yeah. Just everything. They got a pirate. Like, who has a pirate I, playing dodgeball? There's a pirate on <laughs> our team? A pirate on our team. <laughs> hey, look, it's Steve the Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't recognize um, him. His hair's all yeah. cut. They're like, oh, there he is. Yep. Um, Derek, you up or you want me to go? Go ahead, bud. Um, so mine's going to be from a different aspect. Uh, this is the idiot hour sport. I'm going to go with Ford versus Ferrari. Mmm. Great. I have not seen that yet. I really want to. It's so, so good. The, the fact that Christian Bale and, oh, well, I'm Matt Damon. Yeah, that's right. I, I almost blew that. <laughs> um, characters <laughs> match so well together in terms of being so different. Yeah. And trying to take down, you know, a multi-million dollar, like, organization with whatever they have it's it's incredible very good story and i watched this with uh i watched it with terry and he loved it so much yeah uh i'm gonna go with uh fighter with tom hardy the movie of two brothers that make it to the top of an mma tournament because i uh love tom hardy and that movie is amazing would fight club be um we're not allowed to talk about it uh yeah so, you just broke the one well so, cancel you're not invited on wednesday <laughs> 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 what other movies are we forgetting chat uh but in um, the meantime feel free to transition us off did, did anyone see yeah. that uh I, I know i ha- i know i haven't seen it uh the way back with ben affleck did anybody <sighs> see that i heard that was a fantastic no, no i've not seen one. the way back uh george writes in never back down i was thinking about that one too with fighter uh, it, it's it's that's that's the Shield a of Achilles. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Um, other mm-hmm. movies. There's one called. It's not. I think it's called Skate. Um, that is about you know skateboarding, which is a really good one, or something like that. Um, oh, Balls of uh, Fury. Like Mike. Like Mike. <laughs> ah. Well, yeah. Um, Rebound. Do you ever see Rebound with Martin Lawrence? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so for me, one of my personal favorites. I know it doesn't have like a great run tomato score or anything. But I loved it, and I I never wanted to play a sport after just because how brutal it was. Uh, Forever Strong, which well, I, I don't know, know if you've I've seen that. It has the same guy for Never Back Down in it. He just plays a, a kid that essentially oh. gets into a bunch of trouble, gets sent to a facility where he, like he played rugby, and now he learns to play rugby in this style, and then he goes back and faces his old team. It's amazing. I love it. Huh. Interesting. I like that. Rugby movies. What's that cricket one where the pitchers, baseball, cricket pitchers with There's, John Hamm? Was that the the pirate pitcher? It was, no, um, they ended up on the pirates. Is it Did, I think dollar that's dollar arms or something like that. I don't know. Out million dollar baby. 
Million dollar arm? Is that it? Yeah, I think it's million dollar arm. Yeah, it is million dollar arm. A million dollar baby deserves to be in there. Who, oh, oh ba- if we're gonna go through basketball and Hoosiers, um, there's yeah. a ton of basketball. Blue chip. Um, yeah, there's so many good ones. But uh, for sake of time and honest, let's get to your uh, next segment, brother. Official rankings. Go oh, gas. Next segment is the last stop on our journey for sports films, gentlemen. Is our big ranking, the top ten. Oh God. So <laughs> if you're if you're if you're off by a pick. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> so today's <laughs> ranking for this are the top 10 sports comedies. You know this is like this is a big deal. My wheelhouse. I know. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll I'm, 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 I'm All right, I'm just I'm just letting you know. I have no I have no you know. I might be sweating at the palms here. You not you're you never know. So <laughs> we'll see. It looks like you're sweating there a little bit at the palms. Um <laughs> but uh, let's start out with a classic, boys. Uh, it wasn't talked about, and I feel like it should be funnier to me now, but for some reason it's not. But it's still on the list because it's a classic. I love it. Okay. Number 10 is the original Bad News Bears. Ooh, speaking of, since you emphasized original, are any remakes in here and their original? Just uh, wanted to ask. Both of them? No. There, there is... Uh, one remake. There's I one believe. remake, but not they're both not in the original and the remake. Aren't gotcha. In there. Cool. I was just curious. Yeah. So bad news bears. This is essentially like one of the the top things of just taking a group of te- of people that are just not necessarily your typical baseball players and putting them in with hilarity and watching them go. This movie was so funny with all the antics yeah. that were going on. So. For sure. It's number 10. It's obviously not in the top of the pecking order, so we move on to number 9. A Will Ferrell comedy. This is Semi-Pro. Yeah, Semi-Pro is... And it's funny to word it this way. Woody Harrelson's second best basketball movie. Because he also (laughs) has White Man Can't Jump. But I love this movie. And everything about it, Andre 3000 is hilarious. Like Everyone in it is just so good, man. The corn dog scene made me laugh so corn hard. Corn dogs, Jackie. <laughs> corn dogs for all these people. We made it. We don't have any corn dogs. <laughs> the Galaskis, you giant Serbian fuck. Those those jerseys are pretty sweet too. No, they're great. When That's one of the is. best Halloween costumes ever. Yeah. Being a right. being being uh, coffee black and uh, what is Will Ferrell's? I'm in love with sexy. Jackie Moon. Thank Jackie you. Moon. Yeah. Uh, and Minkus <laughs> or Mungus or something. Sing the song. Yeah, no, I didn't <laughs> sing the song, but that's a great pick, Oz. It's pretty. It's pretty bad that I had that song in my iPod. Don't you wanna come and I feel like I did too back in the day. Uh, so we move on from number nine to number. I eight. threw up, mom. I threw up. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that just brought out. <laughs> um, so from nine to eight, we go to our remake. This is the longest yard. Uh, higher for you. I like. I like. This the cast in this one was pretty amazing. Yeah, you have Nelly, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. Uh, was it Michael Irvin? Mm-hmm. A lot of WWE cheeseburger guys. Eddie. Cheeseburger Eddie. <laughs> the, the kicker. You guys I forget his name. They had What's a lot that? Of WWE guys in there too. They had Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. They had yeah. Nash, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I love the Astro Gym with Kevin Nash. That was hilarious. Oh, it was amazing. They did such a good job with that. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, it's great. Like, there's n- none of these films are bad. In turn, I want to make that note because a lot of times people say my rankings, they're like, "He's putting stuff at the end. He hates it. He doesn't like." Shut up. No, that's not <laughs> how it works. So, for Shut this, up. they're all great. Shut up. You don't in, know what you're talking about. And the remake Shut actually up. was pretty spot on with the original. Like, some movies yeah. don't don't like flow like um, that, but oh, gift in the chat though. Oh, thank you. You got a tier one sub. Ooh, wee. From Rag, Rag A L A D. You know what I also love besides the tier one sub, Derek? Saying Woody that it was from an anonymous gifter? Yeah. Got well, it. You're getting Woody there. Woody Harrelson's. I'm, I'm still getting used movie. to the Twitch. Number seven is White Man Can't Jump. Oh, great pick. Now, this should be number one, but great pick, great pick. <laughs> uh, now, I wouldn't put it at one. White Man Can't Jump, I think, is. is I think it's like the perfect balance between uh, anything. I, I love it. But uh, welcome, Red Gay Lad. Two thoughts on the bench. Thank you for the subbing. 
Thank you for texting. Um, uh, no, I love this pick, Austin. I think that this is one of my favorite movies ever, easily. Yeah, I mean, it has to be in here, right? When you're talking about, like, sports comedies, like, this is normally when people think of the sport of basketball, this is what people think of, you know? And it's uh, great. Everything about Denny, it is, right? like you said, it's layered. Yeah, Everything Denny. is fantastic. Yep, agreed, man. And I think Wesley Snipes, this is one of his, his oh. easier roles for him to play because it's, it's just hysterical. I just yeah. love it. Uh, Shrek did it's in the chat. He is the current hype train conductor train. Uh, with 100 bits. 50 of those are going to charity. Just to let you guys know what subs and bits are. Subs, you sub to the channel, you get that Deke Shrug emote, and you get notified when we go live. Bits help us. We are doing all of donations for Twitch. Well, half the donations go to Movember, which is why we all... Does it look like Austin Shade? I, I, I got him. You just can't see <laughs> I, pretend see, that I see a little. I, I little have a hard time with this already. Don't make me cry with this. <laughs> Touche. Uh, yeah. But half the money we make off Twitch, which we're already up to fifty-two dollars for the month, um, which is amazing. Not we'll bad. go towards Movember and then our Movember page, uh, which I can uh, I'll share on Facebook tomorrow with a video and stuff like that. Yeah. But that is up to uh, forty-five. So, nice. so we should I'm, have as of right now around almost a hundred bucks. That's pretty good. I might keep the stash too. What do you think, Austin? Hey man, if you're rocking that. Very nice Borat stash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you didn't shave yours fully each year. No, because it was. For I Borat. feel like I'm the only person that shaved it fully. It would have. It, it would still so, look like this. Again, yeah. you just can't tell just because I don't have any. No, no, no. You it's definitely the lighting. shaved fully. It's yeah. the lighting. Yeah, yeah. It's the Zoom chat. <laughs> Who has more facial hair, Austin or Woody Harrelson on that movie poster? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's on move that on note. to number six. <laughs> Speaking of facial hair. <laughs> <good answer. laughs> um, number six is another Adam Sandler comedy. This is The Water Boy. Yeah. I, I, well, I, we forgot about that. We yeah. About yeah. It. He's arguably the greatest fictional football player of all time. But yeah. I would be surprised if the last six, five, four, three, two, one were not all Adam Sandler movies in some so way I mean, or another. Oh, yeah, I mean, longest yard was on there. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, the water boy is just a classic. You know, you always just wonder like if he was an actual, you know, football player in real life, like how yeah. that would work out in the NFL. He um, would destroy everybody. The the you most the thing that I can, the thing that I can most think of that relates to it was um, you guys ever heard of that podcast? With, I, I it's the guy's name starts with an R, and I just can't think of it. The Rube or something with that. If if not, you'll have the to check R- out. Man, Rubik's that's, Cube. I, I, I'll have to I look it up. And hey, say, hundred bits. It, Thank you guys. We hey. do. Hey, Austin. Just to let you know, you have had a consistently double digit viewers tonight, and we are currently on a hype train. Hype oh, train. I, so I, what the hype train is is that Dennis is still the conductor. If you outbid Dennis on the bits, you can be the hype train conductor, and that will unlock emotes for everyone in the chat. Everyone in the chat will get an emote that no one else has. Uh, in our viewership due to the hype train. Denny, you got four minutes to maintain conductor. He's a good conductor. He is actually he's, he's a really a good conductor, conductor. But, Austin, yeah, you've had you've had uh, almost double-digit viewers the entire show, man. I love it. You know, success is where it shows. God, can't have that without the fans. Can't have that without me and everyone that's built around us. So that thanks you for that. And that's a great time. We cut the bullshit, and we move on to the other half of ours, which is number five, Happy Gilmore. Let's see, there's another Adam Sandler. Yeah, the so rest you're, of these are you're on yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Now, Happy Gilmore, I think personally, he is the. Uh, it's it's one of my favorite Adam Sandler characters because there's no weird voice. There's nothing too crazy. He's yeah. like one of his only like human no. type guys uh, back in the early days of it. Because now, like obviously, I think Longest Yard came out a little bit later. Shrek did it with a hundred bits. Thank you, Denny. Um, but I, I love this movie so much. And this is this is in the category of Austin. I put it on and I'm sitting down the whole time watching it. Yeah, every time. Yeah. For yeah, sure. if you're shutting it off or not agreeing to watch this, there's something wrong with you. And you and he, are and he got punched by Bob Barker. Like, what yeah. more yeah. could you yeah. ask for? Yeah. <laughs> and neuter his pets. <laughs> <laughs> um, five to four. Though you mentioned it, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Dodgeball. I hate Botash for what's on my <laughs> screen right now. Can you see the screen, Austin? I, c- I cannot. Uh, it's a picture of me, my friend Josh, and Travis. We dressed as the dodgeball characters it's for awesome. Halloween. Which one were oh, you? I, I see it. I see it. Now. I was the captain. <laughs> You're more of a Steve the Pirate to me. Oh, well, that's show, that's Foringer. <laughs> He's got the there it is. Bandana in the way. <laughs> there, that, that, was, that was a little surprise for tonight's episode. 
there's just so many scenes that make this film great. Uh, the training with Patches of Houlihan is one of the funniest things of all time in goddamn cinema. And if you're not saying anything about dodge, that, they... dodge, <laughs> dip, dive, and dodge. Yeah, they got the old school. If you film can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> just what? Wh- whips the wrench. Whip- <laughs> <laughs> then just you know tries to create massacres. Like if you can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. I'm like, <laughs> sir, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know if that checks out, sir. And then you have the and girl, also, the girl on the beaver tranquilizer. Yep. On the one team, that's how that's how that that's how they got to the finals and everything. Yep. <laughs> God damn you, Bernice! <laughs> God damn you, Bernice! <laughs> uh, I mean, the cast is great too. Vince Vaughn, like Ben Stiller, they're all fantastic in this. And I'm gonna see no if I can steal Denny's man, conductor real quick. Uh-oh. No other man would ever uh, have the name Michelle again. I think <laughs> I've ever seen so. Uh, but yeah, dodgeball four. Fitness Consultant Air, Michelle. <laughs> then the end, Maybe. the end credit scene with Ben Stiller just stuffing his face with food. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> How much more do I need yeah. to get the freaking conductor off Denny? Oh my lord. Denny, but, uh, you're not catching him. I need. Yeah, we have. I don't exactly know how this works. <laughs> the only other scene I'll say with this was was hilarious because I knew was uh, when he was introducing his team. He goes, "Blade, laser." Blazer. Blazer. And got, then they got the guys two like just each other. <laughs> yep. Um, and then you have the whole like bonded get up scene, which that's hilarious. Like Oh yeah. for sure. <laughs> oh my sweet Jesus. <laughs> that's rad. Like uh four, two, three, oh, gentlemen. Thank I you said for the one fifteen, Mrs. Glass. Uh this was kind of a hard one to put up here, but it's it really is probably the best comedy of its sport. Slapshot. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah, I've never seen Slapshot. I it's know I should, the, but it should. You have the Hanson brothers. Just, it's just constant. Like it's a sense of they're trying to play hockey, but they're just beating the living shit out of each other. We've hit yeah. level two of the hype train. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what these things are, but I love it. <laughs> Red Gay Lad paid it forward and did a, a tier one sub to Punk Rock Princess as well as Mrs. Glass with the one fifteen. That is level one complete of the hype train. I don't know what all this means, but half of it goes to charity, guys. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Maybe I'll Google it tomorrow. We do really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Go to us. Oh, man. Uh, No, thank you to everyone that's doing this, too, because it's on, you know, my show, and I love it. So I I love all this. Uh, Uh, Slapshot is hilarious. It's one of the funniest movies of all time. The fact that they're literally just going out there and just beating the shit out of everyone and they're just walking off. Like, it's not even yeah. hockey at this point. It's just a bare-knuckle brawl to the finish. Yep. And the three brothers in it are one of the funniest characters sets ever. Um, but it's not in the top two. Not in the top two. So, but before we move on to two, I just remembered a hockey movie that we didn't talk about. MVP? No, we talked That's about it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I just love MVP. Uh, I just get so excited. Sudden Death. Did you ever see that? No. So it's it's an action packed movie, based around the Pittsburgh Penguins, and even Iceberg's in the movie. Shut up. Yeah. Well, he's his name's what Mr. The Icy. What the hell is this? It's it's a real. Old, it, it might be from like '95 or something. I don't. We gotta remake this. It says Iceberg on the back yeah, of the jersey. It, <laughs> huh? It's it an says it's heading to Netflix soon. It's on it's on YouTube. If you really want to watch it, you can look it up on YouTube. All right. I know what I'm doing tonight. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, after I gotta watch our movie for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, slap shot at three. We move on to number two. And yeah. I said this that this was my number one film in this sport. This is Caddyshack. No respect. No respect. <laughs> I, I, I you oh, scratched you scratched my ankle. <laughs> oh, good us. I was just it's, it's, the, best, no, no, it's the best movie. Like this is number one for me, man. Yeah. Uh, Denny says, can I get a quick recap? Uh, Denny, we'll do a recap of all of them before we move on to number one. But, Austin, speak about number two here. Yeah, Denny, pay attention. Oh, it's just fantastic. <laughs> well, the whole aspect of this movie is hilarious. The cast is great. There's not one bad scene in this. And the dialogue is probably one of the most hilarious things I've heard in a long time from a movie. And the fact of the matter is that my friend actually had, like, a huge crush on, uh, oh, wow, Chevy Chase. Uh, I was going to say Rodney. I have a huge crush on Chevy <laughs> I Chase. I say Rodney. They, when, we, when we went down, they actually have like a signed thing from Chevy Chase from the scene of this movie. So it was great. 
So, but yeah, we'll do a quick, quick recap real quick before we move on to number one. So, but I don't know if you're pulling this up or not. Cause again, I can't see yeah, you guys. Yeah, we can but go we'll through just, one sec. I'll go, I'll just go through 10. We had the bad news bears nine. We had well, semi pro. Hold on one sec. Us. Uh, don't do through. studio mode for this. Just feel free to go through. Uh, so in the bottom, click out. And then just hide open because that'll okay. be much quicker for you. All right, Oscar, go ahead. Just uh, do it a little slow for Vo. Good, yeah. slow. So we had ten. We had the bad news bears. We had nine. We had semi pro. Uh, eight was the longest yard. Beautiful. Seven was white men can jump. Six was the water boy. Five being happy Gilmore. Four dodgeball. Three <laughs> slap shot. That picture, Austin. Two <laughs> of Vo and his friends. I, I, just see, so I good. saw the picture. Did you see it? Okay, okay, good. <laughs> it's it's gonna and, be uh, on the, the main Cappy graphic. Jack. I hate you, Votage. So now comes the time where oh, Derek man. hopefully won't blow my number one. But what do you guys believe is the number one? No, I, I've seen it on here, so I promise I won't ruin it for you. Okay. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> well, it's hard. I'm watching the screen to make sure Vo ain't messing up. Um, ones no, that I, I think I that you possibly left off of here. Um, I mean, I, I do think that it is a comedy. Space Jam. Yeah. So that being left it, off here was a little animated comedy. I feel like a cartoon, you know. kicking and screaming deserves an honorable Insane. mention. Denny Ritz and Talladega Nights deserves an honorable mention. I would say Benchwarmers. Um, Benchwarmers. We did talk about that earlier in the show, but t- uh, kicking and screaming is. I think you can easily put it on there because as ridiculous as Will Ferrell is at times, that movie's really good. That's like yeah. when I really got in the liking Will Ferrell. Too. Yes, like I didn't really like That was like a big before. role transition for people. It's like Elf and Kicking and Screaming got me in them, and yep. then I went back and watched like older movies. Yeah, oh, uh, Blades of Glory. That's Blades of Glory. One of That's another Blades big one. Another one. Goon. I tried to make yeah, this Goon, list. Huh? Not, I tried to make this list not be dominant by, uh, you know, Adam Sandler <laughs> and. Will Ferrell. That was the yeah, whole oh yeah, point. Tough. Three Adam so, Sandlers. Um, but. so let's get into it, guys. The number one sports comedy of all time is Major League. Mm-hmm. I knew this it had to be one. on here somewhere, so I'm glad. I love this movie. Man. Yeah, I know you guys are massive, massive, massive fans of this movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, wild thing. You got to do the thing. Uh, loved it. And the whole presence of this whole cast being so different with yeah. all their different little quirks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you never touch. Uh, I, I I forget the guy what his name is, but the guy's rum. Like he never touches rum. Yeah. Like, oh, it's so good. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. That's close. <laughs> like, he, well, they're out of rum, it. so he can't touch it. <laughs> no, it's a great movie. I, I I knew it was gonna be up there. For you, Oss, um, just because you guys are, I think, the ones that really showed me Major League, so I don't this hate is, it at all. This is one of the older ones that Terry showed me back in the day, and yeah. I, just, yeah. I haven't Sandlot, lost sight of it. Sandlot, a comedy? So Denny writes in, Sandlot deserves honorable mention. I would put it in the, I would, I would. Squints? Yeah. With Sandy Pepper. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's obviously yeah. parts that aren't crazy hilarious, like you're not grabbing your side, but I would say it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love that everyone's putting their little viewpoints in this, because guess what? These are going to be on the socials. We... I challenge you, find oh, me. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Cool, cool running. I know. We, we missed cool running. I checked, uh, Lad, to see if I had it. but So I, I did 500 bits, and uh, Lad gave the sub, but the sub overrun. So I was hoping that, and you can see next to my name, I don't have the train. <laughs> oh, no, I got it! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's go. While the hype train is rolling off the edges on the rails. Does that mean Dennis doesn't have it anymore? I, it must not. No. Um, Yo, baby. Gonna, dreams really do come true. Rocky, gonna, number one. He's got the on, three by him. Yeah, we're going to put this on he's social media place. for you guys. And you're going to tell me if I'm right or wrong, even though I know I'm already right. You're going to give me a top ten best sports comedies that are better. And I would surely love to think yeah, that yep. probably all of you are going to be writing in Adam Sandler and Will Ferrell's ones. So... I would love to see that. I would love to see some diversity with this. Social is going to be put out there. You guys are going to love it. Uh, one all. thing to note, uh, when this goes on social, make sure you have the year of the movie next to it because there are multiples of certain ones. Yes. So make sure that's accurate for Austin's ranking. Uh, so, But uh, that's that was the only thing I wanted to note in, which was for you. you, but, you uh, sorry to cut you off. No, you're he's, good. Not, he's not really um, sorry, but go ahead. Fuck okay. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> unless that's it, um, I'd say court is adjourned, boys. See you guys next week. Thank you guys very much for all the donations and the subs and for viewing the show for as long as everyone did and engaging. Uh, This has been our uh, most fun show as of late because it is most fun when it's new. And shiny toys.
Tune in next week. Austin will have a full mustache by then. Austin might have uh, Austin. If you just continue to grow just the mustache, you'll be ready for next November. That's a very good point. I was just gonna say. I'm <laughs> <a great laughs> point here. I was just gonna say. <laughs> a little no. home alone scene with it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I will reenact it. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! All right, let yep. us leave the court, Aus. Yep. Court is adjourned, boys. Thank you again for everyone for tuning in, and we'll see you next week here, six thirty. This has been the Rankings Court. <laughs>